Hi everyone, welcome to today's video. So today's video is going to be trying viral TikTok recipes and we've got four different recipes. So the first one is going to be the like flour chicken and then we've got some fruit cereal, which I'm pretty sure Lizzo created anyway and then a mug cake and smashed brussels sprouts so the first recipe we're going to start off with is the flour chicken and let's get into it okay so i've got the recipe here the original video seems to be by future lettuce so it doesn't say the measurements in the video though so that's what i'm trying to find right now all right so i'm using the recipe by pop sugar but they adapted it from oh it's just a two to one ratio of flour to water okay awesome and i'm gonna follow the directions in future lettuce in his video we're gonna go with um three cups of flour and six cups of water no one and a half cups of water two to one flour to water yeah so three cups of flour and then one and a half cups of water and i should probably put my hair up so i'm gonna do that and then I'll put you guys somewhere where we can see it. I've cleared the counter. We're ready for washing the dough. Okay, we're going to start by measuring out the flour. But we're going to properly measure this. I don't know how precise it actually needs to be, but kind of fluff it, you know? And then, oh no, I need like a... I have a feeling this might go kind of wrong. Not kind of wrong, it's just going to be a bit messy, I think, maybe. fairly level okay there's one now we shall do the other two to the best of our ability two three and we're doing one and a half cups of water we're just gonna give that a little mix until it's like combined and then once it's combined we'll start kneading it all right so you can see it's like pretty much combined now um there's no like just water in there so i'm gonna go ahead and go in with my hands oh very soft uh it's getting sticky seems unnecessary wait no actually though like what the heck it's doing so well this is what it's looking like so far i'm gonna Pour it out onto the counter, I think, because this isn't really working. Just kneading. Oh, this is working much better. Right. Oh no. Here is our ball of dough. So now we're just gonna plop it back into the bowl and then rest it for an hour. And I will check back with you guys after I've rested it. Okay, so while the dough is resting, I'm gonna get started on the next recipe, which are the smashed Brussels sprouts. Those also need to go in the oven for a bit, so I'll do those and then I will do the two others while those are in the oven. I've got my Brussels sprouts and I'm just gonna rinse these and then we're gonna steam them for like 25 minutes until they're soft and then I'll check back in with you after they're done steaming because then we're gonna add all this stuff to them and then throw them in the oven. <laughs> Thank you so much for that. Okay, I just rinsed the Brussels sprouts. I'm just gonna cut the ends off of them. The oven is preheating to 450. Oh my God, these knives. are in a pound. I have no fucking idea. Is it 30? All right, the Brussels sprouts are all cut now, so I just trimmed the ends off. Um, and then I'm gonna add them to a pot with, you can just use a steamer. Ugh, I have to like crouch down if you have a steamer, but I don't have a steamer, so I'm just gonna add them to a pot with some water in the bottom, and then I'm just gonna put like the colander in to the pot and put the lid on as my little like makeshift steamer and steam them for like 20 to 25 minutes, I think, until they're soft. Uh, yeah. Ow! Yeah, we've got the water, the sieve, strainer, colander. Like, I don't know what word is correct, but anyway. Fossil sprouts in there with the water in the bottom, and I'm just gonna pop them on 
coffee stove and then I'll check in with you after. All right, the Brussels sprouts are done. They're really done steaming. Here we go. Just gonna add those to a bowl. Add the marinade or sauce, whatever stuff. Oops. Okay, she has a whole tablespoon, but I feel like that's a lot. So I'm gonna do half a tablespoon of sriracha and can always add more later. Make a syrup. What a technique. Ta da! Lastly, some soy sauce. I'm using coconut aminos, but similar thing. This is just like slightly has a more sweeter taste, but either way, some of that. And there's supposed to be olive oil, but I don't have any, so we're not doing olive oil. We're just gonna give that a toss. And you don't really have to be super careful here because we're gonna smash them anyway. So it doesn't really matter. There we go. And then I'm just gonna grab a silicone baking mat. You can just use like parchment paper or whatever if you don't have a silicone baking mat. Oh no, we've got some escapees. Is that even a word? Oh! All right, I've got them all laid out here as you can see, and then we're just gonna take a glass and like smush them. That might be easier said than done, apparently. This is not working. Definitely don't pack them in there as tight when you do it because, fun fact, they won't really steam if they're all just piled on top of each other, so. This is about the level of smush we're gonna get, which is just like kind of none at all. But we're gonna go with it and I'm gonna pop these in the oven for like probably like 30 40 minutes and then I'll check in with you once they're done look at this what is the size of this blueberry that's like a normal blueberry Th huh what why is it kind of like that though all right we've got our strawberries and blueberries in the bowl and then I'm just gonna add some ice and the coconut water Ice has been added. It seems like a lot. I don't know. It seems so like big compared to the berries, but it's probably fine. And then I'm just gonna add some coconut water. Add it to our berries. I don't know how much to do. That seems like a good amount. Give it a little mixy mix. Spilled. Ta da! All right. Let's give it a try. I mean, it's just berries and coconut water. There's not really much that could go wrong. That's literally so good. I mean, I didn't expect it to not be good. There's not really much to go wrong. 10 out of 10. I mean, fruit and coconut water, there's not really anything more summery, so can't really go wrong. <laughs> Excuse me. Okay, next I'm gonna make the mug cakes. This is our last recipe. It's from um, Shay Jorge, is that his name? I think that's his name. I'll put it down below again. Um, but it's just like a chocolate protein mug cake thing. So we're gonna make that. And then that'll be all the recipes. I mean, it's only to finish the other two. But that'll be all the recipes. We've got our mug, one banana. Add that in there and mash it. Oh. This banana wasn't the most ripe, so it's kind of hard to mash. Not hard, but if you use like a really ripe one, it'll be a lot easier to mash. Also, it's gonna taste more like banana if you use a riper one, so I guess adjust ripeness based on how much or how little you would like it to taste of banana. And I'm, this is not my recipe, so I can't speak for him, but I'm guessing he'd sub this for like applesauce or pumpkin puree, some other like fruit puree or mash. Ooh. All right, banana is mashed. Oh, almost spilled that. I'm gonna add a scoop of protein powder, chocolate protein powder. I mean, I guess you could use not chocolate, but then you won't really be that chocolatey, so. That goes in there. 
goes in. And then a tablespoon of cocoa powder, cacao powder, whatever. And have much baking powder. I forget what the recipe says. And then some maple syrup or any sweetener of your choice. And some plant milk. I'm using oat milk, but it really doesn't matter. Maybe you said a tablespoon, that seems like not a lot. Give it a good mix. I guess that was a good amount because of the banana. Ta-da! Can't really see that, but I'm just gonna microwave this and then I'll see you back in a second here. Let me actually show you. Here we go, a little bit better, maybe, sort of. Not really how I hit my head. I'll see you in a second. I fucked up. Mm, I really fucked up this time. Oh no. So the Brussels sprouts have just come out of the oven. As you can see, they're a little bit um, extra crispy in some areas, <laughs> but they look really good. So I'll wait for them to cool a little bit and then I'll taste them for you guys. Definitely, it would be much better actually if you used parchment paper because this burnt part is gonna be probably really annoying to get off of this. All right, let's do the taste test of the Brussels sprouts. So there's some that are like really crispy, as you can see, <laughs> and then some that are less crispy, but like super caramelized still. Delicious. Please focus. Is it focused? Probably not. Anyway. Mmm. Mmm. So good. So good. Try less crispy bit. Okay. Taste. Well. Taste. 10 out of 10. Texture, like a seven out of 10, but that's just cause I didn't smush them because they were not steamed for long enough slash they were all like on top of each other. Yeah, 10 out of 10, definitely would recommend that one. Love that one. All of Hallie's recipes honestly are so good. But yeah, I'm gonna go clean up this mess that's happening over here. All right, it's been an hour, so our dough has been resting. This is what it looks like, not really. Anything crazy, just, you know, normal dough. But now it's time for like the washing. So I'm gonna go ahead and place you guys so you can see me doing that. And I think I might save the water. I don't know, apparently you can make like noodles out of the starchy water. But yeah, it's time to wash. And this, you have to wash it until it runs like somewhat clear, but not like translucent, like not like clear, clear. Let's see how it looks first. Ooh, sticky. Quite stretchy, I gotta say. All right. Now we wash with cold water. Like this both looks and feels really odd. And this is like the water that you can save because you can see it's super like, I mean, it's all the starch coming out so you can make like noodles or something out of it. So we're gonna do that because that's fun. I'm just gonna put this water over here and just like hold the dough. That looks like milk, that's so weird. Alright, there we go. Second rinse done. Rinse number three. Okay, so this is rinse number seven. And as you can see, the water is really starting to like get more clear. Like honestly, this might even be my last rinse. I might do one more. We'll see. It's gotten so little. And then the texture as well is like a lot more like like it comes apart, like it's a lot less stretchy and more tough sort of, and a lot more like fibrous almost. 
So, gonna finish this one and then I might do like one or two more perhaps. And then we'll move on to the next steps. So this is the last rinse. As you can see, the water is like clear-ish. Not completely clear, but like clear enough. And now I'm just gonna place it into the strainer again. And then we're gonna add our spices. So he uses, like in the original video, he uses salt, pepper, garlic powder, and paprika. So that's what I'm gonna use. And I'm just gonna eyeball the quantities um, cause there's no like measurements, but yeah. You can really add whatever spices and seasonings you like to make it whatever flavor you want. So here is the little, final little ball of seitan. I'm gonna do some salt, garlic powder, paprika. I recommend actually doing this on a plate and not over like the bowl. But, you know, and just gonna sort of fold that in. So I think this is kind of hard. You really have to like get in there and work it through because it's not really, it's not gonna wanna mix very well. Can't really see that, there you go. All right, and now we're just gonna let this rest for an hour and then check back on it after an hour. Okay, we've got the flower chicken here. Honestly, I think it looks pretty good. I'm not gonna lie. I'm gonna do a little taste test for you guys. The whole shredding process, like, as soon as- It looked really weird taking it out, but like, as soon as I started shredding it, like, it looks so real. Like, I don't know, like, it- Like, that looks like chicken. It looks really weird. So anyway, it smells like flour, kind of like it doesn't smell like chicken, obviously. Um, and the whole apartment smelled like actually like exactly like drunken noodles like from a Thai place after I was done making this but yeah okay let's have a little taste test it's kind of cold now but that honestly tastes really freaking good whatever you flavor it with is what it's going to taste like so when you're making it like just make it with something that you really like and like put loads in there because it needs a lot of stuff to like flavor it. It has kind of like a chewy texture um, as you would expect. Like it's a little bit like on the rubbier, like rubbery -er side. Um, but it's really good. I honestly would make that again. Like it really wasn't hard. It's a little bit time consuming, but the hands-on time, 30 minutes total, maybe. I also think if you do it correctly and just do it all at once, the texture would be probably even better. Overall, I'd say we did pretty good. This one was a success. The fruit cereal, obviously, of course, like what can go wrong, success. And then, what were the other I made? The mug cake. Okay, that was a little bit of a fail, but that was my fault. I think I fucked up the recipe, so I can't blame anyone better but me for that. And then the Brussels sprouts, delicious. I had those for lunch today, actually, they're so good. Yeah, so that's all for this video. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and let me know if you guys want to see more in the comments down below. Again, I've linked all of the recipes slash the people that made the recipes down below, um, so be sure to check them out, because they have some really, really good stuff. And also, if you don't mess it up like I do, then it's probably even better. Don't forget to give it a thumbs up, and subscribe, and hit the little bell so you know next time I post a video. I post videos every Thursday at 4 p.m., and I'll see you next time. Bye. And definitely had like this sort of chewiness and like stringiness that shredded chicken has and here's a little close-up of the texture so i think it turned out pretty good for what it was and even though leaving it overnight i think it worked